Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And the other day, Microsoft announced some changes to the AI 102 exam. If you go to the official landing page of AI 102, search your favorite search engine for that. If you scroll down a little bit, it says the English language version of this exam will be updated on October 31st, 2023. And so in this video, we're going to talk about the differences between the old and the new, and they are actually quite significant. I am kind of surprised that Microsoft has not changed the exam code that they stick with the AI 102, as they used to say that if more than 30% of the exam changes, they would change the code. So this seems like a, quite a change. And so let's talk about that. First up, here is the current breakdown of the exam. So if you're taking AI 102 before October 31st, 2023, you have five sections. The largest section is the first, Plan and Manage Azure AI Solution, and you have four other sections. If we go to the new version of the exam starting on October 31st, there are actually two new sections and one section has been removed. The percentages have been uh, changed. So the first plan and manage section has now been decreased by 10% and two other sections have been increased by 5% each. So there's been some redistribution and there's again, two whole new sections. So let's talk about each of the sections in order. So section one of the exam or objective one is talking about Azure AI solutions and specifically plan and manage an Azure AI solution. It's worth 15 to 20%. That used to be 25 to 30%. So it's down by 10%. Now each of the subsections, let's talk about them. So the first subsection says select the appropriate Azure AI service. And Microsoft has added a few additional ones, the biggest being generative AI. And yes, they're talking about the open AI services. They're talking about a chat GPT, GPT-4, and a DALI in terms of image generation. They also added document intelligence. And even though knowledge mining is previously on the exam, they've added knowledge mining as well. So you can see this part of this course has expanded. Now the rest of objective one has been mixed and matched. So they've retitled the section heads and they've moved some topics around. So it used to be a uh, plan and manage in Azure AI service and deploy an AI service as two separate sections. Now it says plan, create and deploy. Security used to be its own section and monitoring used to be its own section. That's been all thrown together as manage, monitor and secure. Now on the planning and creation, um, basically it's all from previous sections. So there's a lot, not a lot new here. Uh, two of the previous topics have been merged. So it used to be plan container deployment and implement a container deployment. Now it just says plan and implement. There's really nothing new in terms of this 1.2. 1.3 uh, talks about Key Vault, which wasn't on the previous exam. And they've seemed to have uh, removed Azure Virtual Networks as being an option, but they've added private communications. And so private communications can be accomplished by running on the Microsoft network and not on the public internet. And so Azure Virtual Networks and private communications uh, can be similar topics. So they've removed it and they've added it back and expanded it. They've removed the whole section on anomalies, but all of the topics have been removed to the second objective decision support. And they've removed anomaly detector and metrics advisor and they um, added it into um, this decision support section. Also what used to be called content moderation is now content safety and AI personalizer. So that was on the previous exam and is still on this exam. They've completely removed anything re relating to forms. So form recognizer has been removed. They've also removed exporting a model, implementing a custom version in a Docker container and interpreting model responses. So the section has been trimmed a little bit. 
What they've added is AI vision spatial analysis, and they've removed, again, content moderation using video indexer and custom languages using video indexer. This is another thing where it's uh, used to say speech to text, but now it just says custom speech solutions. Again, it's incorporating some of the same topics, but expanding them. Uh, they've removed constants about question uh, answering in terms of multi-domain question answering and metadata for question answer pairs. Now this whole section on AI document intelligence is new. So AI document intelligence, if we go back to the, <clears throat> if we go back to the requirements here, we're talking about document intelligence, um, pre-built models, <clears throat> Custom document intelligence. This is probably form recognizer that has been rebranded as document intelligence. Conversational AI. So this whole thing around chatbots and conversational bots and and uh, SDKs, completely thing has been removed. But don't celebrate too soon because they've added open AI services for generative AI as a whole new section. So no more a bot framework and now we're on to open AI services and then optimization of generative AI. So prompt engineering is in here. Let's bring in the a section on implement generative AI, 10 to 15%. And we're talking about prompt, um, creating uh, natural language prompts, generate code using prompts, DALI, open AI APIs, and prompt engineering using your own data with open AI and fine tuning. So that's the changes to the AI 102 exam that go into effect October 31st. Jordy and I have started talking about the changes to this course that are required for this. Uh, there is some obviously big changes like this require a lot of planning, require a lot of work. And so I would expect it's gonna take us a little bit to uh, change it. But the good news is according to what I just said, uh, a lot of the stuff has just been moved around. And so I'm gonna to have to deal with, um, a lot of this stuff is just not new. It's just existing content that's been put under a new header. Anyways, I encourage you to check out my course on AI 102. Um, this course will be updated for this new exam that goes into effect October 31st. You can also expect to be kept up to date whenever there are changes to the exam. I'll be the one to let you know that these changes are coming and what we're going to do about them. This is, seems to be fairly big change. So I encourage you, if you have been thinking about taking this exam and you think you can do it before the end of October, probably should do that. Uh, because some of the training resources for after October 31st are going to take some time to update, even on the Microsoft side, even on my side or any other training that you might be looking at. So for instance, a lot of this open AI services for Azure, there's not a lot of uh, training available out there at the current time. So if you're thinking about doing it, I would get on that and try to get that done before October 31st.